Hey guys, I'm Doug Ternovian and uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's been a minute. Uh, so I used to have a tradition. Uh, I did it for two years in a row and then I didn't do it last year um, where I went over um, everything I had read over the summer. Let's talk about the, the novels I read. Uh, so the first one I read was uh, Double Indemnity. Uh, I absolutely love the film. So uh, I asked for this for Christmas, and uh, it's uh, it's a pretty good read, uh, and it, it definitely reads like a screenplay too, because there's a lot of dialogue, and you don't get uh, internal feelings as often uh, as like a normal novel. Um, but this 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 is this really good, and it it, it elaborates on more things that the film doesn't. Um, Probably could there's some more taboo in this than there is in the film, but um, yeah, subtle changes here and there, uh, and it's just it's just very it's a very good book. I highly recommend it. It's, it's a quick read. Next book is Frankenstein. Um, this is the the last novel I read, and then the rest are uh, graphic novels. Uh, and it's funny because I have owned this copy since. To, uh, 2013. So I got it at the end of fifth grade. I remember because um, they had a whole like blanket on the floor full of books, and I said, "Take one, and you can have a cookie." And me being a little fat boy, I was like, "I want a cookie." So I, I saw Frankenstein. I was like, "Okay, I'll get, I'll grab that." Uh, so it, 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 I read it in high school, not this version, like not this copy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I like it. It's, it's definitely, you know, very different from what I normally, normally read, but, um, I believe this is the 1818 version. And there's a weird thing, because sometimes I'll look up the summaries just to make sure I, I got everything and, and, or if I got confused about something. And, like, this was, like, a chapter behind, um, in, in accordance to, like, you know, online stuff. Regardless, um, Victor Frankenstein, not my favorite character. I think he's a little bit whiny at times. Um, there's a lot of um, queer undertones in here, which is, you know, it, it's interesting to see. Not that many people really point that out that I've noticed, which is kind of strange. They, they do more so for Dracula, which I, I haven't read Dracula, but I'm sure there is, you know, vampires being vampires. But regardless, um, the best part of this book is hands down the, the, the monster's perspective um and, and and this iconic frame story definitely one book you should read just in, you know once in your life um and uh yeah I, I enjoyed it so i tried out my very first manga book so i picked up berserk uh the first trade paperback um and the reason why i did was because uh my friend is getting into berserk heavily he, he's been getting those hardcover deluxe versions and um I, i'm not gonna go all in like that just yet but uh i wanted to dip my toe in the water and it's interesting it's it's I, it's not as much of a culture shock as i thought it would would have been but um the art is awesome uh the the character is a bit one note uh and you know my my friend keeps saying like uh it takes until like book four uh and the trade paperback to really get understand the character. I'm like, that's a lot. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to commit to that, but I'll probably pick up the first deluxe version. Um, but it, maybe my library will have like the, like these, but like the second and third and fourth. Um, and I'll do that. But, uh, very interesting. Um, not really much to say about it. Like it's not, there's no r real th themes yet. He's just kind of a dick. Uh, and he's kind of a hard ass, and, you know, I, and it's, it's fine. And like, I, I think it's, it's an interesting to say the least. So that now we're getting into the graphic novels. These are in no particular order. They're, it's an alphabetical order by, by brand. So, uh, first up is, um, Dark Victory. So I read, uh, Long Halloween about two years ago. Cause I read it for the Batman film. Um, so it, it's been a minute. Um. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's just a rehash of a long Halloween, of the long Halloween. Um, I, I, it, it's really the same thing. I, I think long Halloween is far superior, uh, just 
because it was fresh, it was original, it was it was it was cool. Uh, they just expand on more things in here that you know, especially with like Harvey Dent. Uh, it's been a minute since I read this, so I don't remember a hundred percent. But yeah, you know, it, it's just a rehash and uh, more Catwoman, which is nice. Uh, definitely a bit of mystery. Like, I'll be honest, I forget who the hangman is. From the New 52, Batwoman Hydrology, uh, Volume 1. Uh, God, you know, this is probably one of the better uh, New 52 stuff. And I, I just gotta be honest with myself, like, I, I, I love the New 52 because that's what got me into comic books. It got me into reading in general, if I'm really being honest. Um, some of the new 52 sucks. Like, it really does. But th this, this was, this is okay. Um, and I, I have the rest of the series from this, this run. And, uh, it's interesting. It's cool. Uh, the art is, you know, is nice. The thing about comic books is that, and I've said it before and I, I still stand by it. Comic books feel like old classic movies from the 40s like they, they 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 build up and they build up and they build up and then they end it right very quickly um they they end it as soon as it starts and uh it's a bit frustrating because like it just it feels abrupt and it feels rushed and maybe and like i get it like they only have six issues to get a story across but god it, it's, it's annoying uh bug the adventures of Forager, great art in this, uh, phenomenal art, very multiverse, very uh, complex and kind of confusing, and it's just kind of hard to care, I'll be honest, um, when, like I just, I, I'm not a big fan of fantasy and sci-fi, um, I've just come to learn about myself, um, I, I prefer like the, you know, the, the nitty gritty you know, human emotion stuff, right? So, um, just, you know, I know New Gods isn't going to be for me as much as I would like to read that. Um, and I, as much as it is about being people, right? It's just, I can't really get into the fantastical elements. And this certainly has that. Um, it's, it's, it's time travel. It's, it's, it's a lot of things. Um, I think a, a second reading definitely will help uh, me appreciate and understand the story more, but very, very forgettable, I'll be honest, um, which is unfortunate. The most recent read is uh, Deceased uh, War of the Undead Gods. Um, I thought they wrapped it up, you know, so the, the first book is the best book. Uh, the first Deceased is the best uh, the second one, a nice little, um, like, side uh, story with, you know, Red Hood. Like, that was nice. Then the third one was just a bunch of tie-ins that happens while the first book takes place. Kind of a cash grab. Uh, and it just explores different parts of what is happening in this in this universe. But the, the, the book before this, they, it, 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 I felt that they wrapped it up nicely. And then this one is just the same thing, but bigger and more predictable. And I just, I, I, I was kind of just like rolling my eyes. I'm like, God, like they, they really, like you can tell the first one has so much heart and so much care put into it. And then you can tell he kind of, Tom Taylor was like, hey, by DC, hey, this is making us some decent money. Like you need to, you need to give us some more. And it's unfortunate because uh, it's still fun. Like, I still enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad that I read it. And I hope that the final chapter stays true. I really do. Because every time they end it, it's like it's like a nice little ending. And then they bring it back. And it's like, oh, okay, fine, sure. But, yeah, hopefully this is it. Um, and the way it ended was very nice. And it, it, it actually uh, shows the full arc of... Uh, a, a, I don't want to spoil it, but like of, of a certain character, two certain characters, um, who are not the main focal point for most of the, for like a big chunk of the series. Um, but it, it, it wraps them up very nicely. So, so it even brought like a tear to my eye. Like I'm not even going to lie. Uh, Green Lantern, no fear. Uh, it was okay. This next book, I 
hate it. I, I don't I don't like this book at all. It sucks. It's predictable. It's cookie cutter. It's 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 bad. It is the Savage Hawkman. New 52 Hawkman, Tony S. Daniel. He's done some stuff. Like he's not like an unknown guy. And yet this feels so I don't want to say corporate, because I feel like that's a bit much, but it, it feels so similar to everything else that was coming out at this time. And I just, I, 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 I couldn't, I, I skimmed it at the end because I was just so over it. It's and like, it, it's, it's only six issues, eight issues. And it felt like forever. Like it, it, it's, it's, it's bad. I, I don't like that. I'm, I, 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 I I regret reading it. Uh, Superman Unchained. I've been wanting to read this for a very long time. Um, and it's definitely interesting. Um, I, I forget the guy's name. See, like, I, you know. Um, Wraith. 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 That's it. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's a Superman story. It's uh, Ed Brubaker's Daredevil uh, book one. It's very good. Um, I, I enjoyed it. It's, um, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like, for some reason, Brubaker gets paired or he chooses, like, the not so great artists. Um, and not that it holds them back at all. Like, it's, it's fine. Like, I guess... But sometimes I feel it does fit the story, so it works. Especially with Sean Phillips. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the first half... Uh, like, the first story arc in this is him... Is Matt Murdock um, in prison. And it's just... It's, it's like... It's badass. It is very cool. Um... So uh, I'm definitely excited to read the next one. So next one is Weapon X. Uh, this is also a very interesting read because, um, like, you don't ever like. So most comic books, they it it, it gives you the mind, like the the thoughts of the characters or some sort of narration. But and and what they do in here, it's incredibly different, and it's. It's it's very interesting. Um, I, I I wasn't like the biggest fan of it, but it, it it's it's there, you know. Um, it's very mean. It's very brutal, uh, and like yeah. I mean, I I don't really know how to feel about this one. Like it's it's. I'm glad I read it because it is very different from everything else. That's that I've read and that's, I feel like had to come out. Um, cause this is one of those classic Wolverine stories that you have to read. So I, I think after I read Weapon X, I was on an X-Men kick. So I had this random X-Men gold. I remember I was like, I'm going to get into X-Men and I'm going to read X-Men gold, X-Men blue, X-Men red. So glad I did it. Uh, cause none of those series lasted. One and uh, two, um, it just wasn't that great. Uh, like this was a good read. Like I had, it was a quick breeze. Uh, it, it like not that there was anything really bad about it, but like I just yeah, I was, I was you know, okay. Like I I, I don't know much about X Men, so I didn't really connect to the characters too much, um, and. Yeah, like, I, I'm just not an X-Men fan uh, in, in terms of uh, the comics. I'll be honest. I've been reading this since, like, February. Um, because I took a class. It was... Uh, I think it was, like, Native American in, in film and literature. Um yeah, I, th I, I I don't remember the exact name. Basically, just, you know, studying, um, you know, the representation of indigenous people in America, actually, or around the world, um, and in film and in literature. And uh, so one of the assignments for the 
entire semester was to read a graphic novel, and this is the one I chose. Um, and the art is like is so boring. Like I, I mean, there's some that is interesting, but there's sometimes it's it's, it's cheesy. I, I just I couldn't really. <laughs> it was just like, uh, okay, like uh, you know, the art's not. It's it's fine. It gets the story. Like like you know, I get it. Okay, I do. It's supposed to get the story across, and it does that perfectly. It's fine. It's just you know, some of it's just kind of really like. Um. Anyways, the story though, um, it 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 glosses over a lot of dramatic points. Uh, so Pete, the main character, he's like a. Uh, he was like a gangster and he decides, you know, like he, he gets busted. So he decides to go along with becoming reformed and getting clean and, 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 and becoming a better person, a better human being. And, you know, it's a very nice story. It's, 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 it's you know, it's, it's subtle. It's not, you know, it's not crazy. But there, there are some moments where I'm just like, that's something I would have liked to have seen. And, the, you know, then there's other part that's just, just like, doesn't feel very realistic. Uh, and I know it's a graphic novel. I know it's not supposed to be, like, the most realistic thing in the world. But, yeah, I just, you know, the, like, there's just some parts that are, you know, not as touching as it could have been. Um Regardless, like, I, I still think it was a good read. I'm, I'm glad I read it. Um, it's, it's as independent as independent gets. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think it's nice. I, 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 if you can find it, it's on Amazon. Um, I recommend it. Why not? I mean, it's, it's, it's different. It's not superheroes. Like, it, it's, it's hard to find anything that's, like, any comic book that's not, Superhero related. That's not Image Comics or Dark Horse. Um, it, like it, when you get outside of those two, like it becomes very hard to find anything that it's hard to get into anything. I guess it's just kind of the way it is um, with, with with me, and I'm sure with a lot of people too. Anyways, um, my current read is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Um, I read Sonny's Blues for a class, and it was phenomenal. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I, I've been wanting to read James Baldwin for a bit now. So uh, I've had this book since Christmas, and so I decided to give it a read. And uh, I'm only a chapter in. I started yesterday. Uh, and it's it's James Baldwin. Like, he's, he's a fantastic writer. But anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next one.